Federal regulators have been determined to allow the nation's aging nuclear power plants to keep operating, even when it has meant changing the rules. Nuclear Regulatory Commission reports uncovered by the Associated Press show parts at nuclear plants have been wearing down with distressing frequency over the decades. They cite radiation hazards like brittle reactor vessels that could shatter and leaky valves like this 10-gallon-a-minute gusher uncovered at the Byron nuclear plant in Illinois in 2007. Despite this, government and industry officials have decided time after time that the original rules were too strict arguing that safety margins can be relaxed without peril. As a result, existing plants are staying within the rules, and scores of them are gaining licenses for 20 more years. So far, 66 of 104 active U.S. units have been granted renewals by regulators. The Oyster Creek power plant in Lacey Township, New Jersey, is the oldest operating unit in the country at just over 41 years. It was up for license renewal in 2009. It passed and got its 20-year extension. Its communications manager uses the metaphor of a well-maintained used car in describing its upkeep. The plant is maintained um, like any other fine-tuned machine. You pay attention to it, and you listen to it, uh, and you do what, what is needed before it's actually needed. According to the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, since April 2009, Oyster Creek has leaked radioactive tritium from worn underground piping at concentrations up to 540 times more than the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's limits for drinking water. According to reports uncovered by the AP, regulators have worried about aging reactors for some time. In a 1993 report labeled official use only, an NRC staffer warned electrical parts were subject to age-related breakdowns. Almost a fifth of cables failed in testing that simulated 40 years of wear. The report also warned reactor core damage could occur much more often than expected. Paul Blanche worked in the nuclear power industry until he became a whistleblower. He acknowledges many parts of a plant can be swapped out or fixed, but says the focus should be underground pipes or cables that are hard to inspect. These rusting valves were a concern at the closed Indian Point 1 reactor when inspectors were searching for leaks at the site in 2007. These pipes are, uh, they're 40 years old and they're corroding. They have no protection and no regulations to detect its leakage. While it looks likely most aging nuclear plants will receive new licenses, one thing that could shutter a plant is expense. Everything can be fixed and replaced, made new again, the, you're looking at a technical limit of what you really need to look at is a cost limit. What can you afford to replace? What can you afford to fix? Scientists agree nuclear vessel walls could turn brittle from years of exposure to neutrons from the reactor core and crack in an emergency. But some safety watchdogs fear that the industry and the NRC will let vessels turn dangerously brittle before they shut the reactors down. Warren Levinson, Associated Press, 